talk about segments, we're not talking about segment lengths. We're actually talking about this area right here. So when you draw a sector, okay, which is like a slice or a section of a circle, like a pizza slice, right? And if you subtract off this triangle here, you're gonna be left with this area, which is called a segment. So I'll just draw this again so you can see it real quickly. Basically what we have is we have a circle and then you have the center of the circle right there. You have a triangle like so. And if you take these two points, okay, where the radius intersects the circle and you connect those two points with a chord, okay, or a line segment, the area in between the triangle and the outer edge of the circle, that's called a segment. So let's do an example so you can see how to do these problems. I'll show you two different ways to approach it. Okay, so this one, we're trying to find the area of this segment right here, the dashed area. So first thing we wanna do is we wanna find the area of the sector, which is that pizza slice, that section of the circle. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna look at the equation of a circle, pi r squared, okay? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply by 120 degrees divided by 360. Okay, now why 120 degrees divided by 360? Well, this is actually, this region right here, let me see if I can draw it right here for us. This region right here is actually one third of the entire area of the circle. So I'm just taking the ratio of the central angle, 120 degrees, divided by the whole circle, 360 degrees, to get the area of just this section, that sector. Okay, so if we continue that on, we have here one third times pi four squared. Okay, so that's this area here. Now what we wanna do is we wanna subtract off this triangle right here. Okay, so if we look at that triangle, let's look at what we have. We have 120 degrees. This is four and this is four because these are both the radii of the circle. Okay, so you're with me so far. And we wanna subtract off this area. Now there's a formula you can use and it's one half AB sine C. So A and B are the side lengths that make up the sides of this triangle. And angle C is the angle that's in between the two radii there, okay, so in, in between the two sides. So we can use this formula, or what we can do is we can subdivide this triangle, okay, into two triangles. So what I'm doing is I'm dropping a perpendicular like so, okay. Now what I have is I have, let me see if I can blow this up here a little bit larger for us, is a 60 degree angle, okay, like so. This is four. This is 30, this is 90. So we have a 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. So if the hypotenuse is four, the side across from the 30 degree angle, that's gonna be two, okay? And then the one across from the 60 degree angle, that's gonna be two square root of three. Okay, this triangle is exact same, so this will also be two square root of three. So what we have is we have the base, which is four square roots of three, times the height, which is two, times one half, okay? so. That's the base times the height times one half gives us the area of this triangle. So that's gonna be four square root of three because the two and the one half cancel. So all we have to do now is take this, the area of the sector, okay, this whole pi slice, minus the area of the triangle, which is four square root of three, and that's gonna give you an exact answer. That's gonna give us the area of the segment, just this little piece right here. So you can either use this formula like I was mentioning before, or you can use the uh, method of just splitting the triangle in half by dropping a perpendicular. Let's look at this real quick. This is one half four times four times the sine of 120. Sine of 120 is square root three over two. This is gonna give you 16 times one half, which is eight. And you can see the eight and the two reduced to four square root of three. So either way, you're gonna get the same result. Whichever way you wanna do it is, is gonna work for you. So I hope you're enjoying these videos. Subscribe to the channel. Check out some of my past videos and I'll see you in the next video. I'll talk to you soon.